but we are going to see how far we can get from London by bus only in just two days. Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of our challenge to see once again how far north we can get from London in just two days by bus only. And today you find us in Northampton at the Northgate bus station in Northampton to be precise. And from here we are of course heading north and we're about to kick off two of our longest legs of the whole trip. Um, the first bus of today being the, what bus is it, the X7, which is going to take us all the way from Northampton to Leicester, which is a very long route indeed. Um, so yes, if you haven't already seen part one, um, part one was very successful. Um, we managed to get here on a variety of very, very interesting buses actually. Um, very stress-free, very pleasant. The storm clouds are brewing in the distance. I hope that's not a sign of things to come. Anyway, let's get into the bus station because our bus is due to depart in about five minutes or so. And let's go on board. Oh, yeah, let's take to Leicester, please. Yeah, I'll stop, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, it's hot on this bus today. What should we say? For our first bus of this video. This is a Enviro 300, which is quite a rare breeze in the UK. These buses are very similar to Enviro 200s that we see elsewhere I'm running in the UK. Um, but instead, these buses have a longer wheelbase and a more powerful engine. That is the difference between these two bus types. So this is the X7 bus route. We were on the X6 in the last bus, the previous bus, but this is numerically the X6 and now the X7, which runs between. Northampton bus station and Leicester bus station running via Market Harbour. It's quite a long route in total, lasts about 1 hour and 40 minutes. And as the X in the name suggests, this is an express bus route, so we will only be stopping at a handful of stops on our way to Leicester today. strike of lightning just a couple of minutes ago the driver's turned his windscreen wipers on okay I've just seen two signs the first sign I've seen said welcome to Market Harbour which is the town that we're in just crossing into now and the second sign I saw said welcome to Leicestershire which means that we are now in the Midlands If we weren't already, it's a bit of a grey area with that. But now that we're in Leicestershire, I think we can safely say that we are in the Midlands. Welcome to Market Harbour, where half the bus gets off. Just had a lo lovely brief chat with a man sitting opposite me who said he'd seen the £2 bus fare challenge thing on YouTube, so it's very possible that <laughs> we've, s we've stumbled across a viewer of our channel in the wild. It's not often we get to do that, but it's very nice when it happens. So if you're thinking of doing such a challenge yourself, then a really good resource for doing that is a website, traveline.info. You can see you're presented with a journey planner and you can select choose travel mode and you can select bus only. Boscar Rail Station to Leicester Rail Station, for example. Take a while to compute a route. And then it will come up with a huge list of possible routes which you can take. For example, this is telling us a potential route we could take to get to Leicester from Potter's Bar. It's not the same route as we took today um, because I've made some refinements for it and obviously the times are different. 
But yeah, if you're thinking of doing that, travelline.info, very, very useful resource for planning bus challenge routes. And before we know it, we are in Leicester Town Centre. About an hour and 30 after leaving Northampton. Welcome to Leicester as we pass a huge array of brand new green buses. We have to make our way to a different bus station here in Leicester to change buses, which is a little bit annoying, but we'll make do. The alternative is getting the train. So at the moment, we're doing the walk from Leicester Haymarket bus station which you may have seen briefly just before we got off and we're changing to Leicester St Margaret's bus station which is just a little bit further up here the reason I'm making it brisk uh, is because we don't have long here at all so it's very important that we get this bus, our next bus which may be familiar to some of you who watched our video from last time is going to be the Skylink the Skylink Route, which will be getting to Derby. Here we are, here's the bus station, here's St Margaret's bus station. As some of you may have guessed by the architecture of the building, St Margaret's bus station in Leicester is brand new, it's only recently opened. And this comes as part of a plan of Leicester um, to completely remodernise its bus fleet and bus network. Um, you may see the huge array of green buses here in Leicester, and the reason for that is that Leicester has just a couple of years ago decided they are going to invest millions and millions and millions of pounds into a complete refresh of every single one of their buses and replacing them with electric buses. And while I do like the premise, it's a good idea, I think it's slightly silly um, to replace all your buses at the same time because it means that there will come a point in time when all of the buses get very old and very unreliable and then a lot of money will be needed to replace them better to replace them slowly I think like most other operators are doing but Leicester's doing Leicester they have a very pleasant fleet at the moment so we can't really complain there's one of the green buses just heading off now there seem to be considerably fluid green buses here than at the other bus station at Haymarket bus station oh no 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 I've just seen what our next bus is going to be. This bus which is coming in front of us is going to be our bus to all the way to Derby. And it's a Mercedes Citaro. You know how much... It's a very, very, very controversial opinion, but I really do not like Mercedes Citaros. Citaros? Citaros. They're just generally quite unpleasant and hot to travel on, particularly on a day like today. Uh, never mind. As I said earlier, the alternative is taking the train, so... Yeah. Alright, can I single to Derby, please? Yeah, just put your mate. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, mate. No ticket? No, it's All just right. contactless, mate. Alright, oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. Cheers. Well, at least this bus has somewhat working aircon, unlike all the other buses we've travelled on today. As we reverse out of Leicester St Margaret's bus station and make our way to Derby via Loughborough and East Midlands Airport which is where, why, the, why this bus has the name Skylink because it serves East Midlands Airport but I'd love to spend longer here in Leicester but this is a challenge to see how far we can get not unfortunately not to enjoy the places on the route so let's talk a little bit about the operator of this bus route this bus route is operated by a company called Kinch Bus which are a company based in Loughborough and operate services around the Leicester Loughborough area um, as well as a service which extends all the way to Derby and just as we mentioned that we leave our last stop in Leicester and this bus runs non-stop to Loughborough it is partially an express route this bus runs express as far as Loughborough and then from East Midlands Airport it will stop at all bus stops on its way to Derby. Oh, this place looks very familiar and that's because we have indeed been here before. Last time 
we got the boss from Melton Mowbray and we got here to Loughborough where we got the Skylink from last time. This time we are just continuing straight through. This is Loughborough's High Street. <laughs> Also though, one thing I don't particularly like about these Sotaros, and this is common to all Sotaros, is that they're very lurchy. See what I mean? You know when you're driving a car, I don't know if you, you might not drive a car or not, but if you put the clutch up too quickly then the car sort of jerks forward. It's like that feeling that every single time the bus changes gear. First gear, second gear. Jolt, third gear. Joel, back down to second gear. Just enjoying these spicy vegan crisps. It's contrary to popular belief, eating spicy food on a hot day is actually good for you. Because spicy food helps to expand your blood vessels, which means that you sweat more and you cool down quicker. So if you're ever feeling hot, hot on a hot day, try eating some spicy food. Do you see these yellow poles scattered around here? Those are instrument landing system antennae and they are used to help guide aircraft to land on the ground, on the runway. And the only reason we're seeing those is because we are right next to East Midlands Airport, which is, as the name suggests, the major airport serving the East Midlands region. And also in the distance, you can see the cooling towers of Ratcliffe Power Station, which is, I believe, the UK's last coal-fired power station. I don't think it burns coal anymore. We'd be seeing tons of black smoke billowing out of it otherwise. Start to see cargo aircraft, big cargo handling facilities. This is the airfield itself here. Because the East Midlands Airport is actually the UK's busiest cargo airport in terms of cargo traffic. So, there's not very much going on now, but when it turns maybe nine o'clock this evening, there'll be tens of planes, cargo planes, completely loaded like that, coming in and out of here, so it turns into a huge freight hub. Yeah, but there are actually two different types of Skylink. There's the yellow Skylink, which runs to Leicester, and there's the blue Skylink, which runs to Nottingham. I have to say though, these seats, I've said this before on the previous bus trip, these seats that Hinchbush have are really not very comfortable for long runs. We've been on this for coming up to two hours now, and it is probably the least comfortable seat of the trip. I'd just like to point out though that these buses are not the usual buses you see on the Skylink. Usually the Skylink is operated by a set of uh, very lovely Enviro 200mmcs. And these are 200mmcs that operate on the route have wonderful things like wireless charging, free Wi-Fi and announcements in different languages, multilingual announcements when we get close to the airport as well. So this definitely is a downgrade from the usual bus that would operate this route. And welcome to Derby Bus Station. Quite a huge bus station. And we're finally off the Satoru. We've been here before, haven't we? But I think the incredible thing is not just that we've been here before, it took us one and a half days to get here last time. Today it has taken us about nine hours. So, we've had an incredibly optimised route today, much more so than last time. So what took over 30 hours last time has today taken just 9 hours. Anyway, we're not done here yet though, we're going to have to take one more bus this part, um, which is going to be the Transpeak, that is the name of the bus. It, a lot of the buses around here don't have um, letters or numbers, it's just called the Transpeak which is going to take us to our next destination of Matlock. Aha, this comes in our bus. The Transpeak to Buxton. Or the Envira 200. Hey, uh, can I have a single to Matlock, please? 
pounds, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. I will. Oh, yeah. Quite an empty bus, actually. I think it'd be busier starting from Derby. But this is going to be our Transpeak bus, which is taking us to Matlock, operated by High Peak Buses. As we go, reversing out of the bus station in the direction of Matlock. And I need this bus to be on time, bang on time today because we have an incredibly, incredibly short connection at Matlock that we need to make. I'm beginning to get a little worried. I do like this bus. I must comment on how well maintained this bus is. A lot of buses when they get to this age would be rattling all over the place. But this bus, even when it goes over bumps, makes such little noise, it's very satisfying to travel on. And as we mentioned, the engine is in very good condition, the gearbox is in very good condition. It's a fly. Hopefully it flies away. Hopefully this traffic flies away as well. Ooh. What's this? Is this a bus station? We are now closely following the route of what is known as the Derwent Valley Line, or the Little Switzerland Line, which is the line which links Ambergate, Derby and Matlock together. It's a very picturesque railway route, so if you are interested in sort of mountainous, hilly railway routes that are worth taking a good few pictures in, sitting back and relaxing on, then the line between Ambergate and Matlock is definitely worth a visit. I've been on it before, it's delightful. I've never done it by road before though. We've had a little bit of a roller coaster ride of delays. We left Derby three minutes late. At Belper, we were six minutes late. I'm a little bit worried. I'm a little bit worried. And this is where we're going to end the video today here in Matlock. If you have enjoyed what you've seen, in this video then do click um, the like button down below and do consider subscribing if you want to see whether we're going to make this connection or not which is 50 50 at the moment as we head through beautiful matlock bath i'll see you next time bye everyone thank you